Hey everyone, it's Mimi. I picked a new book. It's about dinosaurs again, but it's got a lot of really hard dinosaur names, so we're gonna do the best we can together. But I'm excited to share it. It's called Psittacosaurus, The Lost Egg. I like the way he looks. He looks very friendly to me. A long, long time ago, Sid, Psittacosaurus, was sleeping in his burrow. Suddenly, a fiery volcano exploded nearby. It blasted hot rocks, ash, and an egg high into the air. Boing! The egg bounced into Sid's burrow and hit him on the head. Ouch. Where have you come from, little egg, said Sid, rubbing his sore head. But the egg didn't answer. So Sid made up his mind to try to find who it belonged to. Sid picked up the egg gently in his mouth and crept out of his burrow. It wasn't easy scrambling over the beach with an egg in his mouth. Sid wondered where to start looking for the egg's home. Suddenly, an orthocosaurus swooped down from the sky and quick as a flash, knocked the egg out of Sid's beak. Brack! Wow. Hey, watch where you're going, clumsy, shouted Sid. The egg sailed through the air. It bounced and rolled away from Sid, who ran after it, yelling, Stop, little egg, stop. But the egg carried on rolling until it bumped into an enormous scaly foot. Sid ran straight into the foot, too, and plonked down next to the egg. Er, is, is this your egg? Sid asked, staring up at an enormous ostrosaurus. That tiny egg would never belong to me, laughed the ostrosaurus. Make sure it gets home safely, though, won't you? Sid grabbed the egg in his mouth and hurried out of the forest. Bzzz, bzzz, but he ran into a swarm of flying ants. They buzzed loudly as they flew past Sid's ear. Sid shrieked and dropped the egg again. The egg bounced away from Sid again, who ran after it, yelling, Stop, little egg, stop! But it didn't stop until it hit the big nose of a Tenontosaurus. Wow. Sid crawled into the ferns to get the egg. Is this your egg? He asked Theo, the Tenontosaurus. I'm far too big to have an egg that small, chuckled Theo. Be gentle with it and get it home safely. Sid picked up the egg and hurried away. But he wasn't looking where he was going, and he fell into a huge hole. Arg! he shouted, and once more the egg fell out of his mouth. Come back, little egg! Come back, Sid cried. The egg bounced away again. Sid ran after it, yelling, Stop, little egg! Stop! But it didn't stop until it was caught in the enormous mouth of the ronks. I came here for fish, not an egg, snapped Bella the Bronx, spitting out the egg. You're scaring away the fish. Be off with you. Sid grabbed the egg and ran away from the river. He jumped back over the hole and he scrambled through the ferns. He dodged around the flying ants and scurried through the forest. He ducked past the ornithocosaurus and staggered along the beach a lot of letters in that ornithotherus. Finally, Sid reached his home again. I'm so sorry, little egg, said Sid sadly. I couldn't find your home. Suddenly, there was a loud crack and a little beak popped out from a small hole in the egg and a head and two arms appeared before a whole baby dinosaur popped out of the egg. The baby dinosaur looked just like Sid. Say hello to your baby sister, said Sid's daddy. Oh, said Sid, you naughty little egg. You belonged here all along, and everyone laughed. Thanks for reading about Sid and the lost egg with me. Have a great day.